Hello, welcome back to Hexen. I figured out this door. I actually did have to pull the switch. Oh. Um, it took a little bit of gymnastics, but I didn't have to save. Well, I saved after I did it. Because, you know. And here's why you clear things out before you go. Pull switch. Continue game. Maybe that opened the other one. Which I said was clearly a secret. It basically did. A very big pit. Don't fall in a pit. Thank you. What's up here apart from permanent and certain death? Uh, apart from absolutely nothing very well. So I'm guessing that we have to do some more stuff. Oh, I haven't even checked how long we've been. Give me a moment. I want to see... First of all, that it's recording. Second of all, how long it's been recording for. Oh, I remember this level. Again, I don't actually remember the level. I remember having seen the level before. These Afrates refuse to wake up. There we go. Oop, don't step through the uh, portal. Not too big a deal in um, 2016, but back in 1995, it would have been a bit of a problem because you'd have been sat there for five minutes waiting for the next level to load, just so that you could load it back up again. Yeah, I do like the designs of these levels. Can we press this? <coughs> I guess they tested that, but you still have to try, don't you? You know, you've got to push the boundaries of all things. Hello. Right, this was a scary place back in the day. Watching uh, Damien play without the OpenGL mode on there. And honestly, I thought at the beginning it was playing with the keyboard, but uh, no. He has at least capitulated to that extent and is using the mouse. But, oh, by the way, if you wanted to know what um, the mouse look used to look like, you should go and check out 42% Health is his channel. I can speak, I promise. Uh, before he has got the original rendering going on, which is really cool. And you can see what it looks like when you look up and down using shearing rather than the modern day you know, just camera rotation. This is open. Very scary. Push that. What does it do? It goes grunt. Ooh. Are you glitching or is it just me? I spawned in a load of bad guys, no doubt. Those things are not pointy enough. By the way, those... I don't know what they're called. I don't really follow torture devices. Especially torture devices that are used to actually hurt people rather than in any sort of you know, adult fetish sort of scenario. Definitely not my scene. Maybe they're just called Iron Maidens. Maybe those are Iron Maidens, and the thing that we call Iron Maidens are not really Iron Maidens. <laughs> Ever think of that? I will take it, even though I didn't need the blue mile. He is talking to me, but I have my headphones on, and she knows full well. That means I cannot hear a word she's saying. However, everyone else on the internet did hear you, so... You have to understand that Hexen is about twice as loud as Isaac. Three times, actually. But the decibels are a logarithmic scale, so it's not actually three times. What? Would you like to hear a fun torture fact about Iron Maidens? Let's hear a fun torture fact about Iron Maidens with D and L. Iron Maidens were, in fact, invented way just for museums to freak people out. They I thought we were going to hear a band fact. Why am I shooting this? Why am I hitting this? There you go, everyone. Uh, no such thing as an Iron Maiden, at least in the way that... But then museums would tell you that they were used. I mean, if you go to something like the London Dungeons... It's lying to you. Surely they know that. I'm pretty sure they do. But, but they were just invented in the 1800s. Is it one of those things that even the museums have forgotten? Yes. Obviously this opens each one of these successively and it's extremely irritatingly boring to deal with. But then how come somebody knows it and now the museums don't? I think a lot of museums do, but it was a fun talk to them. So, because, what are these called then? Those just look like gigantic maces. Yeah, but they're obviously you're supposed to strap people to them, right? Yeah, that's one of my Yeah, but it seems like one of those ones where 
you know, people think that the Iron Maiden is the thing that people call Iron Maiden, so in fact that's an Iron Maiden, blah blah blah, right? I see what you're saying, but... Well, I was trying to get some HP out of that, but instead it turned around and shot me, so that didn't work too well. No, this is 1995. Oh, wow. Proper, this is the original. I wonder if my dad played this. Why are you giving me all of these? Because they're an irritation to deal with. It's just artificially extending the length of the video. It's like when I go and do boss rush in Isaac. Like cog, cog lions? Yeah. They're centaurs. Th that's not a centaur. It has a face of. It has a. Look. It's a, well, yeah, it's got a man head. Centaur got the boot. Centaur got back. It does have more of a lion thing going on. Yeah, it's a lion made of a cock. Well, those are actually slaughters because those hurt. Slaughters, of course. Centaurs are the ones that don't shoot you and don't let you use several quartz flasks, uh, vials. Yeah, flasks. Even though I didn't need to. There's something here, right? There's a switch. What does that do? I'm reluctant to press switches now because I always get... You know, that's always a bad idea, except for the fact that you can't progress if you don't. It's like, it's very much a Pyrrhic victory sort of thing. How the heck do I get up there? Definitely not good. Well, at least they fixed the, the actor microphone. Uh, I won't get that minor because I don't need the What's this guy? Bye then, thanks for joining us. Go and Google some stuff. <laughs> See if you can figure out what them things are called. And then come back for Torch of Action for Alan B. The internet's dead. Is it not just that cable? Try right. using the wireless. Oh. Everything in her game is dead. Well, that's what happens when you play Guild Wars 2 and kill everything. This is not effective either, but I've got so much more green mana than blue. And so much less health as a result of that hit. It's all a matter of timing here. Ooh. Nope, you missed me. How am I not- Oh god! <laughs> uh, time for a cut? Whereupon we come back and do all this all over again, because that was extremely boring even for me. Dealing with all those slaughters, I mean. Can I just ignore these? No, because I bet as soon as I fire down there, they wake up, right? Oh, they wake up here. Uh, see you in a minute. Thanks for watching. Uh, meanwhile, D will collect some more torture facts for this, the dungeons. Well, that's very straightforward, isn't it? Alright, to save you all the tedium of watching me try and beat up slaughters with this central note, this clerical weapon here, I have saved it. Having beaten those ones up, and hopefully that will never come to be a problem. Again, get this. I'm in a situation now where I can do it picking up some double mana, so I will pick up some double mana. Combined mana. Thank you. And we will, well, I guess I'll just pick up one of those even though it was only, oh, worth two HP. Man, I'll tell you what, sitting on this chair for a long time, for a long time, well, it hurts. Let's just say that. Not the most comfortable of all chairs, even though it is basically designed to be sat on for a long period of time. Uh, this is probably Firestorm territory. Not least because I have way more Firestorm ammo. Cleric doesn't really lend itself to damage dealing, I guess. Anything in these, apart from maybe a bishop or an afric? These poor buggers, they're all exactly the same size and we're just left here to die. We were left here yesterday. Oh, that's a secret. You see, look. Things that look like secrets aren't secrets. The things that are clearly secrets don't seem to be. Wait, did I say the same thing to- I don't know. Oh god, why? To hell with it. There's plenty of combined mana in this particular level, so- Whoa, hello. How did you escape the- uh, Wrath of the Wraith, which is called Wrath Verge, of course. Mm -hmm. Apart from, of course, it's called Wraith Verge because of all the wraiths, but you know what I'm saying. It's my wrath. Well, we'll be using green mana for the time being. 
even though it doesn't really seem to be hugely useful for us. And yeah, fight amongst yourselves. I'm fine with it. Right, you've killed you, so I will kill you. Help, though. This would be a great time for my flechettes to be any use whatsoever. Who's going to win this one? I'm slightly perplexed that the uh, Slaughter lost because it's basically immune for the majority of the fight. Well, there's nothing there, so I won't shoot it. Fair enough. I have more flechettes here, which again, again, there's no use for them. Is that's not quite true. Let's be honest, we did manage to use them quite effectively against the Slaughters in the Effluvium, uh, which is the posh term for sewer. But it's also the name of that level, because it is a posh term for sewer. Uh, but it doesn't really seem like there's a huge amount of potential for them. They don't last very long. Well, they last a while in terms of the HP damage, like the damage that they do to the enemies, but they don't last very long. I guess what I mean is, it still takes ages to do that. That's pretty cool. Uh, this is of no value. It does actually close them both. Very cool. It's one of those simple scripts, which, you know, it's obviously not very taxing, perhaps, to write a script that opens one door, then the other, then neither. But at the same time, it's very, very atmospheric. It really lends a lot to the game. It's up to on a hold, really. Uh, I don't really know what we're doing here. I sense that we've... I'm stuck on Oh, there's a cauldron on the ground, and apparently I can't go around or over it. Um, ah, this is open. I do remember down here, actually. It used to be very dark. I think the OpenGL renderer has somewhat compromised the darkness. Uh, sort of tactic of the game. Atmosphere of darkness in the game. Because it doesn't seem to be as dark as I remember it. Certain, certainly not as dark as it was on um, on Damien's videos. I mean, his darkness videos. And I, don't, I mean, obviously, videos with darkness, not the darkness, because of course, if you were uploading videos with the darkness, it would be content ID match very quickly, and the videos would be probably removed post haste. See, visual, no, audio clues. When you hear a sound of lots of things opening, probably turn around and, and deal with it. Quite likely to be um, to your deficit not to. That was scary. Bit of a waste of mana, but we're doing it anyway, so whatever. There is a switch. When they were put in these like these lights are obviously, uh, I was going to say they're obviously motion activated, but of course they could simply be walking across the threshold activated, but then these Etins didn't activate them when they left, so maybe it requires a human, but then are the Serpent Riders humans? I mean, I think the Sparrow might have been a human, but it doesn't mean they all are, and it doesn't necessarily mean that Korat still is, and... I think I'll just call the end of the episode here and do that all again and make the next episode when I've done all that because I'm dying a lot. <laughs> this is very frustrating. <laughs> uh.